Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. In this episode I would like to explain iritis, which is inflammation inside the eye. Now this can happen very commonly. Um, many patients can get this and what they may notice at first is that the eye may become a little bit red. Uh, they may have some pain, a little bit like aching in the eye. Now, a lot of times it may just be one eye, but it could be both. And also they could notice that they are sensitive to light and that their vision becomes blurred. Uh, when it's the first time that it happens, a lot of people aren't sure what's going on. But when they have repeat episodes, they're usually in tune and know that they're having an episode of iritis. Now, when they come in for an examination, we can see signs of iritis by looking with the microscope. Uh, particularly, we will see inflammation inside the eye, which can be cells that we see in the anterior chamber or the front part of the eye, just behind the cornea. Uh, also, we may see spots that we call KP or keratic precipitates, which are spots of inflammation on the inside of the cornea. Uh, other things we can see, sometimes the pupil may be small or there may be scarring or adhesions from the pupil to the lens behind it or to the cornea in front of the iris. Now, uh, a lot of times this may go away and resolve on its own with time, but that may take a period of time, maybe four to six weeks, if it just uh, is an iritis that comes out of the blue for no particular reason. Uh, but most of the time we like to treat it to make the patients feel better and see better as soon as possible. Usually this is done with steroid eye drops, and at the beginning we may use them very frequently to help bring down the inflammation and then uh, slowly um, taper or then stop the steroid drops to keep the inflammation under control. Uh, other times we may think about using dilating drops to help keep the pupil uh, wide and dilated to help decrease the inflammation as well. Now a lot of times we don't know why someone has iritis and a lot of times if it's mild is their first episode we may not check into it if they don't have any other systemic clues throughout their body of why they may be having it but if it's more severe or if it comes back or comes back multiple times we like to check to see if there may be a problem throughout the body that could be causing the iritis. Uh, this could be from inflammation diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or multiple sclerosis. Uh, other things like sarcoidosis or infections with a virus like a herpes virus or syphilis can cause iritis. But uh, like we say, a lot of times we don't know why it happens and we just have to treat the symptoms and the inflammation. Uh, so if you have any questions about iritis or if you ever had it and you wonder um, what may be the long-term problems or if you're getting treated adequately, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.